lets it go, and that's a stop by Benson with a blocker. Now Jones. Jones back to Crookshank as they work the outside. Bass, center point, he'll let it go. Satch pass to Jones. Net was empty and he redirected it wide. Here's Bass now to the goal. Rizzo in front, scores! A double deflection on its way to the goal off of Rizzo, off of Jones. To the back of the net, midway through the second period, the Bees have a 1-0 lead on the power play. Well, you can kind of feel this coming. The Bees have had a couple of great opportunities on this man advantage that 30 seconds left in it. Bass with a slap pass down low. Jones just missed it up top. And then another shot from Bass coming from the right point here that is funneled toward the goal. It's deflected once and then twice and put into the back of the net there. I'm not sure who got the first deflection on it, Jones was able to tap it in right afterward as the deflection comes blocker's side. Great play by Jones. Andy Campbell, he'll deflect it on. Here's Chris Clack trying to make a move down the left wing. Clack to the goal, he scores! Boy, Chris Clack found some daylight cutting in from a pretty sharp angle. Had just enough real estate under the bar and over the shoulder, and the Bees take a 2-0 lead midway through the second period. That is an insane wrist shot by Chris Clack, as it's Clack from what looked like an impossible angle from the goal line, popping the water bottle on the blocker's side of Mitchell Benson, my goodness. Clack, the OT hero, last night gives the V's a 2-0 lead here with an insane shot up over the blocker side. Quickly up ahead, taking it there, Carangelo. Carangelo cutting into the high slot, left wing feed, and a good one to the goalie score! Parker Fu down the left wing, didn't have a lot of real estate again, but he goes through the wickets of Matt Robson. A big goal here from the Bandits to cut the deficit in half. It's 2-1. And this is an interesting goal here because the V's changed while this puck was in the neutral zone and it seemed like a little bit of an odd. James Miller, center point to the goal, tip scores! <laughs> Owen Sillinger with masterful hand-eye tipped that puck straight down and against the flow of momentum, the V's retake a two-goal lead, it's three to one. And a great tip there by Owen Sillinger right in front. And a deflection for Sillinger on the shot by James Miller right off the faceoff. An outstanding tip by Sillinger right in front of Benson who couldn't see a thing. And Owen Sillinger has his first goal of the tournament. And it's a three to one. Get an extra guy out there. You never know what can happen, especially with offensive zone faceoff. That might have been the reason they lost the draw, but kept the puck on, they score! Time mapping off the draw, tips it in, and teach us to second guess the decision. The Bandits get a goal, keeping their goalie in on a redirect in front by Ty Mappin, and it's 3-2, and don't go anywhere. This game got a lot more interesting. Here's Kale McCarr dancing to center. Shoot in, hit Campbell, finds Chow, Chow, poke check by Campbell. Chow in the right wing corner, hooks it to the net, carries to McKechnie, scores! Josh McKechnie, the recipient of a favorable Bandits bounce. And with 31 seconds left in regulation time, the Bandits have clawed their way back. It's 3-3. on breakaways before. Extremely fast, likes to go five hole. I've seen him score a number of goals five hole. We'll see what he chooses to do. Crookshank out of Delafield, Wisconsin. Just about ready to go. Here he comes. Picks it up, carries down right up the middle. Crookshank in, he deeks, and he's stopped by Benson. Trying to go five hole. This time with a deke. Had the move, Benson didn't bite on it. And the V's 0 for 1 currently in the shootout. Nice save there by Benson with the right pad. So Josh McKechnie will go for the Bandits. He's traveling right to left, picks up the puck, drives left. Little bit of speed, carries in now. Deeks to the goal, he scores! McKechnie with a perfectly placed shot off the far post, drifted to his left, 
Went far post and in, glove side on Robson. The Bandits have the advantage now. It's 1-0 in the shootout. You mentioned it, Trevor. Chris Clack is going to go for the Vs. He's going to start it. Picks the puck up at center. Clack in. Down the left wing side. To the back and he stops up. Try to go forehand and lost the handle on it. And it goes down to the reach. Benson had a pretty good active stick. But he lost the handle. So it's up to the Bandits. They have the opportunity. Ty Mappin will try to win this hockey game for his team in the shootout. Ty Mappin. Got a big goal already tonight. He's got a big chance here. Mappin for the win in through the middle. He deeks Robson. Squeezes the wickets tight to keep this one alive. And now, as if you'd need anybody else to try and keep your game alive, Nick Jones. Nick Jones will go for the Vs to tie up the shootout. Here comes Jones. He picks the puck up. He's going right up Broadway. Slows up. Head fake. Deke to the goal. He scores. Nick Jones held up at the last moment. Opened up Benson's five hole and rips it home. We are squared away at one in the shootout. Neither team wants this one to end. Parker Fu. Will go for the Bandits now. Trying to give his team a two to one lead here in the shootout. Fu drives in, left-handed shot, cuts in, he shoots, Robson the save. Matt Robson stayed right with him, covered up every angle, Fu had nowhere to go. And another big save by the Penticton goaltender. And how about this, Trevor Miller, Cassidy Bowles. Wow. The AP for a chance to win the game now for Penticton, Bowes. Drifts to the left, cuts to the middle, bows to the goalie, head fakes, Benson! This time with the glove. Great move from Bowes, great save from Benson, and will continue. Dennis Sasana up next for the Bandits. Traveling with the puck now into Penticton territory. Sasana, he deeks, he holds, he goes to the back and he scores! Dennis Sasana wins the game for the Bandits on a nice forehand, backhand move. They take the extra point here in the shootout, and they take it 4-3 in a shootout. <laughs>